To start, we have what's underneath the TV drawers, the bottom of the home entertainment system. Tree. So there's my little pig. Gatsby's actually terrified of that. Okay, candles. <laughs> and I hate these just like sitting out. I feel like it looks so cluttered. So I definitely need, I love this bowl. Again, this is like local artist made, bought at a farmer's market or flea market something. Love this thing. Um, so we have Endless Weekend. I this pop tail lid looks so tacky on it. Maybe I should put that gold summer boardwalk lid on this. I don't know. Um, but I didn't want to just like let the scent go because I love Endless Weekend. I'm, it's light enough as it is, so I wanted to keep it protected. I love that scent. This goes with springy stuff. I just, it was so pretty. I had to like give it one burn to check it out when I got it because I love the white jar, the pink wax. Peony petals, so this is gonna go with my spring candle, so this won't be here. I'll move this. Let's keep these on the floor because we're gonna find a place that can just stand alone. And little Buddha. I'm Catholic, but I love my little Buddha. Okay, move along. I have summer, you know what? Maybe I'll do this. I'll move him here. Because I do love summer bonfire. I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks on that pedestal, so let's move that there and just keep summer bonfire out because that's when I'm burning. Love it, that's gonna burn through the end of summer. Um, some coasters. This is a Mackenzie Child's votive that I have both a random melted candle and a plug-in in there. These glow so pretty. Uh, Mackenzie Child's is where they're from. I love her stuff. This looks gorgeous when it's burning. It glows so beautiful. So that'll stay there. Another Bath and Body Works thing. Got that for like 50 or 75% off. In it, wrong lid. Coconut vanilla, I love this. And I, actually, this is super strong at first. Now that it's gone down, it's a little less strong, but I mean, I can still smell it nonetheless. And it's really pretty when this ombre wax burns. It is gorgeous. I know they're coming out with more ombre wax this fall. I need to grab a bunch of them because they're so beautiful. Leave it there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I have this little owl. I think he was from Marshalls, I'm not sure. Little owl, Copacabana Beach. I put this just as strong as Summer Boardwalk. Um, the Tonka in here kind of makes me sleepy. When I burn this, I find that I always like end up taking a nap or feel like I have to fall asleep. So this lasts forever. I'll probably just put this in storage for next summer. I don't think I'm gonna burn this for the rest of the summer. This is more like early summer for me or like even, I actually like this in the winter. Like what I'm craving, like when I need a vacation. I burn this more in the winter than I do summer. I don't know why. It smells great though. All right, so that's that for under my TV. The candle's going here. I'm gonna find a place for these guys. Sorry, my feet are in like every part of this video. I don't have the nicest feet, so I'm sorry about that. All right, let's move along. I'll show you this guy. So it is a battery operated candle, but it looks so real. I love this thing. Um, I got this in Rhode Island. It's Illuminara, and I believe they sell it at Bed Bath & Beyond now for like 30 bucks. I love it. Sleeping puppy. <laughs> Hi, honey. Um, and my whole candle collection over here. So again, just some unscented pillars. Um, in here, I have one of the random votives. This Himalayan salt votive burner. Um, I have to pop this out. This is that Glade Hawaiian Breeze and my wax warmer. This usually doesn't stay out here. I just fell asleep last night and forgot to put this away. I have a little plate of matches. Um, I painted these coasters. These are all places we've been, places we love. That's me at a hotel in Curacao. That's me in Hawaii. Um, yeah, I really like to paint myself. A little narcissistic, but um, yeah, Newport. Oh, Ariba. I made these for Dan for Valentine's Day a couple years ago. Um, I have a little random thing of incense just on hand. Another Veluspa candle, Baltic Amber. Love this one, nice and strong. I'll be changing this out for the fall, this whole coffee table setup, so this will be changing soon. Um, and then a little Asian pig. And this little Bath and Body Works, I think this is Tiki Beach. Yep. This little holder is so cute though. It's a little gold mini. Um, yeah, I put that there because I like burnt through that. Oopsies. This candle I made. This is an ice candle. This holder is from Anthropology. 
but I made this. You can see the little holes in it. Um, what you do is you just pour melted wax. Well, you cut the top off like a milk carton. You fill it with crushed ice, and then you pour melted wax into it with a wick. Let it harden. It doesn't really burn that well, but it's more for decorative purposes. Um, that's pretty, though. These flowers are from Home Goods in like this little jar thing. Over here, my glasses. <sighs> Moving along. So, loose but Baltic Amber. This makes me so sad because this candle is amazing. It's an ocean scented candle, Laura Tonato. Um, I bought this in Italy when I was in Rome at like a candle perfume store and I love it so much. It, it really smells like fresh, sea salt Oceanside. It is wonderful. Is it all in Italian? Yeah, I don't even know what that says. Yeah, I guess it's all in Italian. Made in Italy. I love it. Maybe I can find it online somewhere because this candle is freaking amazing. Laura Tonato. It's like a tiny little hole in the wall perfume place in Rome and I should have bought in like 50 of them, not one. I think it was like 60 bucks though. <laughs> Probably why I bought one, but whatever. Um, Diptyque Mimosa. This is one of my all-time favorite spring scents. It doesn't smell like mimosa. It's very, very floral. Um, yeah. If you're ever near Diptyque, I highly recommend their candles. This tiny little thing will scent up my entire apartment. This whole room into that hallway. They are incredibly strong. This is very, very floral. Great for the spring. Kind of fresh scented. Um, if you want them for like a discount price, you can always purchase them at Nordstrom. If you have a coupon um, or like a gift certificate or something, try getting them at Nordstrom because you can find better deals there. I typically just go to the Diptyque store because it's so close to where I work and I can't help but like peeking in there. It's a nice, luxurious scent. I love, 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 love. It's probably if I had a favorite brand of candles, this would be it. They're just not as easy to hoard as Bath & Body Works or other cheap candles. So I like to display them, to look at them. They make me happy. Okay, <laughs> this is just my dining room table. These are all battery operated candles. Um, on for you. These are from Restoration Hardware. They light up like that. And then these little lights, I can get these on too, just so we can see how that looks. So pretty, right? I put this up in the winter. It's probably not like summer appropriate, but I just, it's such a clean, beautiful centerpiece. I love it. And like, you know, with the remote control to turn them on and off, it's just so easy. So I love it. There's that. Here on this little uh, side table, I have the glitter lid from one of the candles I got on top of Sorry Honey Oahu from Bath and Body Works. And another Bath and Body Works holder with the owl. Love that scent. And then moving on to my windowsill, I have Hawaii from the Destinations Collection. I love the scent. It's nice and strong, but I really haven't been burning it because I like it more for a display. I just love that picture. Hawaii is one of my favorite places in the world. And when we went, we stayed on Kauai and the big island and the big volcano it just reminds me of Kona. I want to go back so bad. So I love that little piece of Hawaii that like remained one of my favorite places with me. Not crazy about this thing though. It looks a little like a nipple to me, but I love the Hawaii candle. Over here, um, Walmart Sunny Sangria. This is usually not out. I usually just have like, um, my picture frames here, me and Dan. The Breakers, which is one of the mansions in Newport, Rhode Island. We got married in Newport, Rhode Island, so we have a lot of like reminders of Newport around our apartment. We love it. Um, I made this little thing. I painted this mason jar and put these two arrangements in it. Um, and then I put Georgia Peach in the bowl next to it because it just matched really well. So I have that. Over here, I have Yankee Candle Black Coconut. Love this fragrance. And a fall leaf holder. I don't know, whatever. My friend hallway, we have coconut sugar cookie from Goose Creek. I love that one. Um, this is just an irritation. This was really expensive from um, like a little boutique near me. And what a hot fucking mess. I, just, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. 
I foiled it like every time I burned it. I've never had this experience with a luxury candle like do this to me. So I don't know what's going on with that. I'll figure something out. Um, I also have Yankee Candles Juicy Watermelon. This is another restoration hardware. Um, these pillars are cool because they're actually made of wax. So they feel like a real candle. Like if you tap them, they're going to mess up like real wax. So yeah, I love those. Um, and then I have another Diptyque candle. This is Bay, my hands down favorite of all the Diptyque candles. I have a backup of this in my bedroom. I just, oh my God. It smells so good. It smells like um, if you go into like a five star luxury hotel and they have like a scent coming out, like that clean, clean scent. That's kind of what it smells like. I love it. Look at my laundry card. Another of these Mackenzie Child votives with another tea light in them. It looks really pretty. That's my bridal shower, my 21st birthday. It's a towel in Las Vegas. I have this giant colonial candle and sea spray. Um, this thing is amazing. I had this lit last night and my whole apartment smelled like sea spray. Nice, clean, fresh scent. I like the clean and fresh. It smells so good. Hiding back here, I have Yankee Candles fruit salad on the other side of my kitchen. Um, I just finished this Oahu recently, and I've made it a holder for, these are like um, electronic hookahs. And my nighttime flashlights when I read at night. Cute little cake post-it. So finally, um, I also have in the kitchen, my kitchen candles, which I have in quotes, um, which are just candles that are smaller or like a weaker scent throw, like the Yankees that I showed you that I have in here are just like my weaker Yankees. So I keep them in the kitchen where it's smaller and you can smell them. This is the one that I said my mom always gives out as favors. So I have these like lying around all over, but you can see better this one's open, how it has the glitter. Um, I just can't bring myself to light them because they are just so cute. I love the glitter. I don't want them to empty out. So I keep that right there. In front of Gatsby's little radio, I have my fern, which, oh my god, I need to water. Um, a couple, like, random knickknacks, flower pot. And back here are my kitchen candles. So this one is done. I'm going to go put this with the rest of my empties. Um, sparkling limeade. Definitely, hands down, my favorite kitchen scent. Next, I have espresso bar, which I'll put the link to my review of up here. I love, love, love this one, especially in the mornings in the kitchen. And finally, which I'm a little half and half about, we have Tuscan Herbs on the same collection as this espresso bar. And I'm just, I don't know, I like it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I definitely have to be in the mood for it. It's an herby candle, but it's like a foodie herby type of smell. I don't know how to describe it. I guess like the basil reminds me of like pesto. It really smells like... um to me, like I'm in an Italian restaurant. So I have to be like cooking or about to eat dinner, like in the mood for that kind of scent. And then I don't mind that candle. So I don't light it that often, have to be in the mood. And keep them hidden back here. My little go-to. Um, I always keep my four ounces back here. I usually only buy these kitchen-y type of scents for the four ounce and I can just hide them back there. I'm gonna go put this in my empties and there's the finish of my kitchen candles. So finally, we have the last of my collection, which is over here, my jewelry area, and my bedroom, which is actually like pretty messy. Probably should clean that. So I have um, a Yankee Candle Garden Party, which is currently lit right now. I love this. It's like a nice, um, light cotton candy smell. Uh, this was from Marshalls. Really nice candle. Um, back here, I have this Glade candle in Cashmere Woods, which is if I'm it's the only Glade candle I buy just because I love this scent so much and I have not found anything anywhere else that compares to it. I have the room spray of this. It's like a fresh woodsy, cologne masculine type of scent, but I love it. It's great in the bedroom. And I also have this Nequid or Nequad, whatever, candle. This is from Papyrus. Um, it's in Wild Current. And these all smell really good, all these types of candles. They burn really nicely and... They're just super pretty. I love them in the bedroom. And back here, I have a backup of my Diptyque Bay candle. Um, this was a Bath and Body Works candle. I just have some rings and things in there. 
uh, the lid for a garden party. Like I said, I really need to organize this. Back here, I have Bath and Body Works Lighthouse Candle, um, which I'm almost done with. I'm kind of trying to savor it because I love this one so much and I only have one of them. And finally, the last candle I have is hidden in here. And that is my backup of Diptyque Mimosa. So there you go. That's that. And here it is finished up nice and clean. I have my wax to melt. Um, I have all these spring and summer in the back since those will be the last use. First ones to use will be the fall. So fall are all up here. I was able to make room to put this Yankee box up top here. Um, I have my melter here, it's empty, um, mason jars, more fall, winter, ah, oh, looks so nice, so organized and neat, and then down here, all my art supplies, nice and neat, um, wallflowers, matches, matches, random junk, um, votives, Veluspa candles, uh, the Yankees that are in rotation, Stormwatch, Juicy watermelon, cotton candy, and yeah, well done.